The second law, the idea that energy will always spread throughout a closed system. The reason our universe's entropy will constantly increase. The backbone to cosmic development. And of course, it's the reason anything happens at all. Because in order for something to happen, energy needs to spread and change. For example, it takes energy if you just be alive and pump your blood. This energy comes from the food that you eat. And this food energy comes from plant life, whose energy comes from the sun through processes like photosynthesis. But even the sun's energy needs to come from somewhere. It's believed that our sun is a second or third generation star, meaning its energy came from a star that exploded long ago. And if you go far enough back in time, you reach a point where energy hasn't spread out at all. But 13 billion years ago, the Big Bang occurred and energy started to spread and interact with each other, creating everything in the universe. But let me just make things clear. The second law of thermodynamics does not say when or how energy will spread. Just, if given a chance, it will. Before we continue, remember, entropy does not mean chaos or disorder. Entropy, N meaning inside, entropy, the Greek word for transformation. Inside transformation. And because energy is constantly spreading around, it's no secret that we are living in an ever-transforming universe. Entropy is just the way we measure how widely this energy spreads. As energy spreads, entropy increases, and then events occur. But, because of the first law of thermodynamics, there is a set amount of energy in the universe released during the Big Bang that sticks around forever. This piece of paper represents all that energy. And since all this energy is stuck together in one spot, it's in a low entropy state. But what happens when we spread this energy? These now four pieces of paper is now more widely spread out and can interact with each other in much greater complexity than just one. But let's take it a step further. This confetti cannon has hundreds of pieces of paper, and since they're all together in one spot and can't interact with each other all that much, it's in a low entropy state. But again, all it takes is a big bang. And the energy spreads! All the confetti, or energy, is still here, but it's more widely spread out, meaning it's in a high entropy state. It has now become very difficult to keep track of all the tiny pieces because as it flew through the air, this confetti can, and most likely did, smash and affect each other, meaning the end placement of this paper is a result of thousands of tiny interactions. Much like the universe, notice again how none of this energy disappeared, but that doesn't mean we can keep reusing it forever, because that just breaks the laws of thermodynamics. Sure, obstacles may be put in place to hold back the inevitable spread of energy, because nothing is completely independent from the greater world around it. Energy can and will escape your body, escape your home, and even escape Earth. But nothing will ever be able to escape the universe. Eventually, over a few Google years, energy will be so spread out that they will never be able to interact again, meaning nothing new will ever occur. Confusing? I don't blame you. Let's just recreate the universe. For the sake of simplicity, pretend this bowl, just like the universe, is a completely isolated system and energy can never escape. And pretend this food coloring is all the energy in all the universe. At first, the food coloring falls into the water in a very predictable and organized manner. But as soon as it hits the surface, it starts to spread out, disperse, forming more and more complex patterns, meaning its entropy is increasing. Eventually, given enough time, the dye will be evenly distributed throughout the cup meaning the energy has completely spread out and the entropy has reached its maximum, resulting in what I like to call chromodynamic equilibrium, the color depth of this bowl of water. It is the same color everywhere throughout this closed system and nothing new can happen. Scientists believe the same thing will happen to our universe as well. But instead of dye in a cup of water, energy will be completely spread out evenly throughout the universe. And at this point, nothing will be able to happen because in order for something to happen, entropy needs to increase. Energy needs to spread and move and change. This may be the ultimate fate of our universe. Thermodynamic equilibrium. The heat death of the universe. So yeah, the second law of thermodynamics is going to eventually destroy everything. But who cares? Because of this law, the universe has gifted you years of consciousness. You. An intelligent ape living in the most exciting time in human history. The chances of Earth forming, life evolving, and you being born is incomprehensibly low. So please, live with passion, stay curious, and try not to waste it. T. Hanks. <laughs>